hey, it's done. I wanted to address something that's been brought up many, 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 many times. It's the thought that reselling isn't a, a job. It's not a career. It's, it's not a way to make money. Now, I've heard that for pretty much the first 10 years of me being on eBay. Now, I worked somewhere else. I didn't do eBay full-time. I never thought it was possible. Never in my wildest dreams that I think you could make a full-time living reselling online. So I was one of those who doubted that for so many years, even as we sold stuff on the side and made extra money. I figured it was like a garage sale kind of. And I did garage sales. We had garage sales. We did the flea markets. I used to set up at flea markets even. So, you know, I've been there. I had booths and antique malls and the whole works before eBay was fully, you know, there and stuff. So, you know, I never thought it was possible. That was always just my side gig. I always did something on the side. I was always hustling for that extra dime that I could make with my free time or whatever else I could do. This year is heading into our 10th year of full-time online selling. So there's no doubt that this is something that's fully possible. But back 20 years ago, this was just a fad in everybody's eye. It was the first platform like this. There wasn't anybody else doing what eBay was doing other than little boards and things like that. Nobody had a platform to sell you stuff like eBay. eBay was really the first. I know there's Yahoo Auctions and some other sites, but it wasn't like eBay and this big platform built the way it is. So it's a new concept. And it was just something everybody figured would fail or you're never going to make a living off of it. And I doubted that for many, many years. Went to college, earned the master's, the whole works, figured I'd get out and find a job. Wasn't there. Couldn't do anything without moving. Something we didn't want to do. So the only alternative I had was to look hard and drive farther distances and, and try and get a, a local job or get a job here. Didn't pan out. We started selling on eBay. And eBay ended up being the best bet I could have had because I'm making more now than I would have in a job that I would have taken back then. I would have never known the, the freedom here that this is. Now, yesterday I was out at an appointment with my son and I ran into somebody I haven't seen in 15, probably close to 20 years, who used to make fun of us and laugh at the whole eBay aspect of it now. He used to have a really nice job. Now, he's been laid off since I've seen him. Numerous times he's had businesses closed down. He worked in the auto industry. So those auto jobs have come and gone. And sometimes he gets a call for a couple month job. He never knows what's going on anymore. He's working a janitor shift where he was at. So, you know, you never know where you're going to be at. The point of it is a steady job, you know, in the real world may not get you any job security these days. You never know. A business can shut down and fire everybody on the spur of the moment. I've had it happen to me personally. That's one of the reasons we moved out of Mississippi, out of the Deep South, up to here in Ohio. is because the company I was working for was having financial problems, and they shut down all of the ones in my whole area. Every store that they owned, they closed down at the same time in that area. So it pretty much left me nowhere. So, And that happened once before, too, when I was in Florida, when the place I was working for decided to change the style of production. It was a resort that we stayed at. They wanted to switch it over to long stay for more money. And, and it just turned the whole place into something else, and they let everybody go. That kind of stuff happens. You never know where you're going to be at in life. So for me, this is a full-time job. I've done this for 10 years. I've got a 10-year track record of selling and paying our bills and you know, everything through this sort of business. So it's, it's a proven way of making income. It's not like 20 years ago when there was no options, the internet wasn't there, e-commerce, online selling wasn't the thing. It is now. I would never give this up unless I would die if I didn't. You know, it's about the only way I could say that I would give this opportunity up. I would never want to work for somebody else again. For me, I'm passionate about what I do because I really like looking at and handling and pricing and scoring these items, sourcing them and discussing them and the whole works. I, I enjoy that. That's exciting to me. That's interesting, unique. I love looking at all of this old stuff. So this is a fulfilling career. It's not even a job because I like it so much. Now, for those of you who are older, let me just give you a, a mental image here, which I think many people will understand. Think about when you were a teenager, 16, 17, 18, you just had your license. Back then I had a Mustang and we used to hot rod and haul around town. So Friday evenings, we'd all go out and hang out. It was a feeling of freedom back then. You're not going to die. You're invincible. The whole works. 
we'd crank out out of the school, we'd crank up the music, roll down the windows, you know, the wind would be blowing on us, we'd be singing to the songs, a group of us in the car, and it was just a total lack of responsibility, that, that feeling of freedom that, you know, once you start working for somebody full time, you, you just don't have that feeling anymore. It, it's just gone, I guess, or at least it had been for me for a very long time. For most of the time, I worked for other people. Now come these days, I'll turn up that radio, I'll hit the highway down here and just be jamming out to something on there, totally free of any major concerns or anything else. You know, this job does that. That's the feeling that I get from doing what I do. Um, no panic, no waking up, you know, being late for work, no worrying if the car is going to start or it's cold outside, I got to shovel the walk or any of that stuff. I mean, it's it's just this is my career. This is my job. It's a full-time job. Now, I don't take this for granted either. I've branched out. We don't put all of our eggs in one basket, so to speak, also. So just because this is a full-time business right the second, you never know what's around the corner. So you always are looking out for the next way or another way or to add to what you got going on. It's hard to sell just one thing or one item or anything like that. So it's always branching out to expand your business and turn this into a bigger business as you go and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's that's the hopes of this. That's what's happened for us again. I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into this. For those who are doing this part-time, that's perfectly fine. I did it part-time for a very long time, a decade for that matter. So part-time, full-time, it doesn't matter. The, the opportunities here, depending on your job, obviously, it's hard to want to risk something. It's hard to give up something that's steady income. I was in that spot until we went through college, so I know that feeling. I would have never, ever thought I could quit a job and do this. When the, the chips were down, though, this is what turned out, and this is what paid off. This is what pays our bills. This is what satisfies the needs for labor, for employment, for a job, for the whole aspect of it. I mean... Everything we do pretty much revolves around this to some extent. It, it's us. It's who we are. You know, I love reselling. I love the aspect of it. I love shopping for it, um, talking about it, showing it off. It's just something that's exciting. And back with the acquaintance that I ran into from many years back the other day. Now, he asked me if I could point him and give him some directions on doing it. And I pointed out my YouTube page, of course. But, you know... Things have come full circle, basically. So at one time, it was a fad. You're not going to make a living. It's a joke. It's not real. It's an uh, online garage sale or flea market. But nowadays, it's a viable source of full-time revenue. This platform, other platforms, are all of them together. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully, that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. doesn't seem like much. But think of this. Take a couple of thousand customers going to the store two or three times a week. That's about 5,000 transactions punched out on the cash register. If we can boost just one transaction in five by an extra buck, here. That's an extra thousand dollars at the checkout stand. Now the company paid about $800 for the merchandise leaving $200 gross profit. But there was no increase in the fixed expenses, like rent and insurance. And even if the operating and handling costs remain about the same, let's say $120, the net extra profit is $80, or 8% of the $1,000 before taxes. After taxes, 
four percent instead of one percent